Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm going to be doing a cheapest items at Ulta. I guess that's what the title is. I'm not sure what I'm titling it yet. I actually saw the Tayla, I will link her channel down below, do a video like this where she buys the cheapest item of everything at a certain store, makeup store, and uses those products. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to try that at Ulta because, uh, that'll be more affordable than Sephora. But if you're excited for this video, give it a thumbs up and let's just jump right into it. Okay, so I got quite a few things and I got some like duplicates of other items like concealers, two highlighters. I also, I forgot like bronzer for some reason. The first item that I have is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Coconut 3-in-1 Primer Water. So this is a like setting spray and a primer spray. This was the cheapest item. I'm gonna put the prices of everything on the screen Whew, that's really uh, a lot of spray I also want to note that some of the items I got might not always be the cheapest they were either like on sale or they were out of stock so I had to go to the next up item so uh, just a fair warning if you go and like fact check to the prices or whatever that is the reasoning behind it or because they didn't have an item that worked for me like maybe the foundation like they didn't have a shade that would work for me so if something isn't the cheapest at the moment it was one of those reasons so the next thing that I got is the NYX stay matte but not flat liquid foundation I believe if they actually had a cheaper foundation but I think the shade that looks like it was mine was out of stock or something and it only had like three shades or something like that so this was the next one that was up it says to shake well so we're gonna shake it well I've never really tried a NYX foundation I have the droplet one but it's oof, ooh, oh that's a water or something coming out of this that's gross and I I I why is there a liquid coming out of this? That's really gross. I just shook it too. Okay, and I know all of you are gonna be like, oh my God, your skin is broken out because you put the applicator on your face. No, it's not. Don't try to give me advice when you don't know what you're talking about. It may cause you to break out, but that's not why. My skin just breaks out, okay? And I actually have a Curology video and I'll link it above. And that's the reason that my skin is so broken out. So all of you people with your unsolicited advice can F off. Anyways, I never really tried the other foundation because it was like, white like too white too pale for my skin which is not usually something that happens hmm. it doesn't look bad looks like it's about medium to full coverage it looks actually really dewy for them to describe it as matte it actually looks pretty dewy and it's definitely not full coverage but i didn't see any claims about it on the packaging oh no it says okay it, it, it says oil free water-based full coverage mineral enriched and a matte finish looks a little more dewy matte than just matte but let's just try and build this up and see how it layers and see if we can get a little more coverage i do like the finish though it looks nice it looks like a uh... It looks like a dewy satiny kind of matte like not too dry but not too like greasy looking and i really like that i'm just gonna pat it in because i don't want to remove any of the coverage i really like the finish of it it's got like a nice dewy glowy kind of look it hasn't dried down all the way and when it dries down it looks a little less dewy and i wouldn't say it's full coverage i would say it's like medium coverage not full because you can definitely see my acne and scars and stuff through it but overall i do like it it's a nice foundation and it's not too too expensive and you do get a full ounce oh you get more than an ounce you get 1.18 ounces so next we have concealer and this is from essence and this is their cover stick i got mine in the shade 10 matte natural i don't know if that's just the finish but this is shade 10 which I probably got the lightest one. I don't generally use concealers like this. It actually looks like just my skin color. It doesn't look lighter. We're gonna see. I'm hoping this isn't greasy because these sticks always worry me. Doesn't look that full coverage. <laughs> like I feel like I'm putting a lot on and I can't see very much. It looks like half a shade lighter than my skin, so it's not a bad color. We'll see once it blends out. If it doesn't work, I have one other concealer that I bought that was like the next highest up. So we'll see how that works if I don't like this. <laughs> 
it looks like a very very natural concealer so if you do like a light coverage you might like this so far as i'm blending it out it doesn't look overly greasy or anything like i was worried it has a really similar finish to the foundation okay i do want to try this other concealer because they actually came out with more shades finally this is the la girl pro conceal concealer and i got the shade where is it? i believe it's the shade fairest yes the shade fairest i already have the shade porcelain which is this really orangey dark not porcelain one and this is the shade fairest so as you can see their shade range has gotten a lot better Whew, that came out more than i thought this is a really good color to brighten for me if i want that really brightening effect so i'm really glad that la girl has expanded the shade range because i believe they even have like color correctors now they have like the purple the green i really like the finish and i do like the shade it did add brightening on the on the the computer monitor what i'm seeing is it it's not really showing that well but it definitely did add a brightening effect i'm trying to like blend it okay we're gonna try the powder which i'm a little scared for because drugstore powders like loose setting powders are usually quite dark and orange <laughs> and this was the cheapest one this is the maybelline shine free loose powder in the shade light 01 which I mean, the Maybelline Fit Me in 05 Claire is really good, but they this this was so I am a little nervous. Oh, that's cute. It comes with like a little a little puff. That's nice. Why is this like made in such crappy quality compared to the Maybelline Fit Me? That's gonna be yellow. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna put this under my eyes. This is gonna make me look like an Oompa Loompa. I'm gonna set my eyelid with a little yellow. I feel like this would be good to like set my like area with but under my eye not really it's kind of blending away it's actually oh no oh no <laughs> i put too much i really just want to pop into my maybelline fit me right about now which i think i'm gonna do for under my eye just because uh i don't really want to do orange face today um oompa loompa looks are not fun so i am using the same brand maybelline fit me in 05 claire for under my eyes but i really just i have to go out today like oh god See, now that is a way better color and I want to note one thing I noticed about the Maybelline Fit Me powder is you just need to grab a little because if you grab too much as you can see like I don't know if y'all can see this like line right there that's like the powder and no powder if you put too much it's it's crazy if you put too much that will happen and it looks really bad and it's happening right now <laughs> I, that's what I hate about this powder it used to never do that and I don't know why but i think you maybe can see that i know this isn't the cheapest product and everything but i have been trying to figure out a way to work this tip into a video and you know i'm just gonna put it in the video right here because i know this is a really popular powder but it it it, it can look cakey now like i said i don't have a bronzer so i'm gonna go bronze and i'll be right back okay so i am bronzed and i'm just gonna say that like on my nose it is kind of like separating and the makeup kind of got taken off easily by just doing the usual motions that i do um i use the physician's formula bronzer so this is still a pretty good price for bronzer but uh I just wanted to comment that the like concealers and foundations kind of came off with that so next is blush and this is the l blush in the shade blushing <laughs> it's just like a pretty standard pink color it looks a little washed out in the camera but it is a little bit more pink and vibrant in real life so let's just put some blush on oh that's oh that's pigmented i feel like it has a little bit oh it has a little bit of like iridescence to it that's pretty i really love a glowy blush i just think it makes the skin just look so like fresh okay <laughs> this creasing under my eyes is so so bad like it's creasing where i didn't even know that i have wrinkles it's like a wave like one two three four five um that has never happened before I don't know if it's these concealers mixed together. I don't know if it's the LA Girl 
or if it's just the other one definitely creasing real bad okay so next is eyebrows and i got the essence eyebrow designer in the shade 02 brown and it does come with like this little spoolie type thing and it's just a pencil <laughs> So I'm gonna brush my brows out with it. It's gonna hope that this is a good shade. It's looking a little warm. Yeah, that's looking a little red. <laughs> I do like that it's a nice pointy tip though. I mean, it is a pencil, so. This is actually really pigmented. If you have kind of like a reddish tone brown, you would probably really like this. I have more of like a cool tone brown eyebrow. So this is not the perfect shade for me. It is really soft and really pigmented, but as you can see, it looks red in my eyebrows, which I didn't get anything else. So I'm gonna be rocking some red brows for a little bit today. I forgot highlight, I have highlight, but I forgot that step just now. So the next one I have is the e.l.f. highlight and it doesn't have a shade on it. It just has like a number. This is what it looks like. It's kind of like a yellowy highlight. It was like a kit and it came with the e.l.f. highlighting brush, which I already had this brush and it's really good if you want just a nice big fluffy highlighting brush and it's super cheap, but I think I got both of these in like the little kit for like $3, so. Ooh, that is a cute highlight though. Ooh, it's pretty icy. Not a bad color for my skin tone. It's very like a uh, powdery. That looks really nice. I don't know. Elf probably has a bunch of different colors of highlighters. They have a lot of products, but this is a really good color if you have very fair skin. Um, what is next? Oh, <laughs> eyeshadow. So I bought a four pan eyeshadow or so I thought it was the cheapest item. I literally typed in eyeshadow and the Essence My Must Haves palette is what popped up. And in the picture, it was a palette with four colors. And I was like, oh, those are nice colors. I'll get that. But when it came in the mail, it's an empty palette. So I have no eyeshadow from the cheapest realm. Like it's a palette and you pick four colors. And it really didn't tell that. Like it it didn't say that just right there. The, the main photo had the eyeshadows in it. So I just assumed it had eyeshadows. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to go do my eyes. My eyes. I'm going to go do my eyes shadow off of camera off of camera i'm gonna go do my eyeshadow off camera and i'll be right back okay so my eyeshadow is done and now we're gonna go into mascara this is the elf volumizing mascara and this was the cheapest on the site i believe i don't think there was anything cheaper let's see how this goes i don't really have super high hopes for it because i believe it was like a dollar yeah it honestly just looks like it's coating and making it a little bit darker but it's not like lengthening or anything honestly this is just looking like it's adding a black pigment to my lashes not lengthening or clumping or anything i also feel or i know this is gonna happen i'm gonna get black all over the bottom of my eyes i usually like to use the l'oreal double extend because it is a tubing mascara and it doesn't get give you that like raccoon eye look or anything like that so let's move on to the second to last step <laughs> next i have the la girl matte flat velvet lipstick in the shade this is in the shade ooh la la i'm hoping that it's not too pink because i'm not like a pink kind of a lipstick person but we'll see so this is supposed to be matte and this was the cheapest so it looks way more like nude peachy on camera but in person it looks like pinky peach Ooh. Ugh. oh no that is catching on to every dry spot it smells kind of like plastic it feels moisturizing but it it's giving me concealer lips this is not a good shade i don't like colors like this so that's ugly <laughs> i should have got a few shades but i i i just wanted a nude okay so that color was obviously not good at good at me good on me so i'm gonna go put a different lipstick on and i'll be right back because honestly i'm just i'm just throwing that away <laughs> okay so my makeup is looking really bad around my lip area but we're just gonna ignore that i use the bh cosmetics liquid linen lipsticks i believe these are like one to three dollars so they're still in a really good price range they're obviously i don't think they're at ulta but they are really cheap so i wanted to stick within the theme so the last thing is the setting spray and it is the same one i don't want to put too much on because i don't want i don't want the mascara to start running immediately down my face 
<laughs> okay, so I'm gonna do a quick rundown of what I think of everything just off of first impressions. The NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat foundation. I actually don't mind it. I think that it would look good with better concealers. I honestly think this Essence cover stick might have made it a little bit a little bit greasy and not working very well. I do feel like the color matches pretty well and it's not too off or anything. I mean, foundation is so difficult to match. Like, I've never found anything that is the perfect shade, but you know, I mean, what can you do? <laughs> but I do like this, the Essence Cover Stick. Not sure how much I'll actually use this. It is a good match. It's like my perfect skin tone match. Maybe I'll use it just to like spot conceal on like no makeup makeup days, but honestly, I really don't even do those. Maybe after I take my Accutane and stuff, I'll end up doing that. I'm gonna keep this around and try it again. Maybe these just look a little weird together. The LA Girl Pro Conceal, it's a little greasy, but I do like the shade. And these two concealers, I don't know if like together they crease a lot or separate they crease a lot, but they're creasing a lot under my eyes. So I don't know which one it is. I know that this one is loved by the makeup community and I haven't heard much about this one. So I'm gonna guess it's this one because I'm just gonna go with like, you know, everyone loves one and I haven't heard much about the other. This Maybelline Shine Free Loose Powder. This is probably a good powder if I use my fake tan, honestly, but it is a little bit too orangey peachy for me. It's just a little too dark and it looks kind of orange. I would never use it under my eyes, but but kind of just on the face, if I go in with a light hand, it's not too bad. The Wet n Wild Photo Focus Coconut 3-in-1 Primer Water. It is nice. It does say it preps, sets, and refreshes. I definitely think it refreshes. I don't know how much it did actually prime or set my makeup, but I really just like face sprays. They're kind of nice. The spray on this is not amazing, but it, it kind of like spurts out at you in like a solid stream. So it's not like the the finest mister ever, but it is pretty cheap and the scent is pretty nice. It does smell like coconut. It doesn't smell like the Too Faced primer water. It smells much more like actual like that coconut scent, that fake coconut scent that we all know. It smells a lot more like that. So I do like this and it was pretty cheap. So I like that. Um, the e.l.f. I'm gonna go over both of these at the same time. The, I really like both of these. This is a really nice highlight. Like, it's pretty blinding for, like, a dollar highlighter. And then this blush was nice. It reminds me of Milani Luminoso a little bit because it's got that iridescent kind of pink color. And I believe it was just, like, a dollar. So it gives your skin kind of a nice glow. So I do like both of these. Okay, the eyebrow pencil. This is the Essence Eyebrow Designer in Brown. I would really like this if it was a better color. As you can see, it is quite red undertoned. I mean, in person, it doesn't look too bad. You can see the red a lot more on camera. I do like how fine the point was, and I felt like it was very pigmented and creamy, but not too creamy, so it kind of glided on pretty easily. It wasn't very waxy or anything like that, so if you have kind of a reddish undertone eyebrow hair, it would look pretty good on you. The e.l.f. Volumizing Mascara is kind of like, eh. It really just coats your eyebrow, your eyebrow, your eyelash hair in a black color and that's about it. It doesn't really like lift or clump or make them look longer or thicker or anything like that. So if you just want a nice like cheap tint for your eyelashes, then this would be good for you. But if you're looking for anything else, it, I wouldn't recommend it. The Essence My Must Haves palette. I'm gonna have to say they kind of have false advertising and after I bought it and got it in, I actually went to go look at the reviews and I saw that other people were saying, um, I didn't really is this was an empty palette I think that it needs to be a little more clear in the advertisement on the website but you know it's a nice palette I believe it was like a dollar or something so or like maybe three dollars I don't know uh, it's always nice to have an empty palette but I don't even know if I have any eyeshadows that will actually like fit in here these look kind of big and last but not least we have the LA girl lipstick I hate this I believe I've used this formula one other time and once I started using it today it kind of all came back to me oh yeah I really hate this formula so I definitely wouldn't recommend that I'm actually just going to throw that away right now because I hate the color and I hate the way it looks it literally picks up every dry spot on your lips so if you have any type of dry spots on your lip, it ain't gonna look good. <laughs> so all in all, those are my thoughts on all the products that we used today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!